James here. We're going to continue on with our character and we're going to add some shorts now. So now we actually get into something that's a bit more than just, you know, the plain circle. And we're actually going to do some more sort of box drawing type skills. I find box drawings are a really nice way to be able to tweak your character. Like if I was just drawing with a pen or something, I would almost certainly, you know, do the character on one layer and then break it apart. But because you've got so much ability to tweak, I'm quite happy to you know, like do the character with the box drawing on separate layers because you can constantly tweak until you get it how you like it. Okay, I'm just going to move this around a touch. Yeah, looks nice. I like to use that grid occasionally, just to sort of get a good feel of how things are lining up. Now I'm going to add a couple of points. We're going to go add a little point here, with where our shorts will go up. I'm not too worried about keeping these lines straight because I plan to sort of shape the shorts a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to drag the top line down. I think we might just drop it a little bit more. But with these shorts are just barely fitting on this character. And I'm going to bend the sides in. I think that's a little bit too much. I mean, you can tweak this and take whatever shape you want. I'm just giving a sort of example shape. I want to try to line these side points up so that there's no overlap. I want it to sort of come smoothly out, out of the main shape. I think I'm going to raise the touch, bring these in. And I'm going to end the bottom of these legs in. Don't like the look of that. Yeah, I'm fairly comfortable with that. I guess maybe you just bring these in a touch. I'm just trying to get a shape that you know I'm comfortable with. If I ever make something I don't like, I just press Control Z to go back and have a second attempt at it. And you can use these handles to manipulate individually. We sure don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a sort of a little bit of flick to show a crease in there. Adding in these tiny pieces of detail, like just a little bit of detail on a model that's so simple adds an awful lot. Now I don't like how it's just flat around the end. I mean this is the one disadvantage with using a mouse instead of using a pen is you don't have the pressure sensitivity. But you can easily get around this by just I'll select this. Where did I just draw? We'll go up to drawing, we'll convert it to brush strokes. And now you can edit around the outside with these points. And I'm just going to take a fair few of them out. Don't want that point, don't want that point. I think that'll look nice from a distance. Yeah, nice little flick. I might actually go in and have another look at it. I think I'd like the bottom to be a little bit. Take it in a bit and curve it out just a touch. 
So we've got a sort of a curve going in. So now we're going to need to give our shorts some color. So I'm just going to create a, re a basic red. I thought about making the shorts white, but I think there'll be too much white in the character. It doesn't really matter what color you use. But now we have shorts in our character. Get the body back up. I'm just going to grab everything and move our character up a bit. So now we're going to need some legs. And we want to create these under the body. Now you want to make sure that you name these legs the right way. You can either just put R for right or write the whole word out. But I suggest you try to keep these names logical. And I'm just going to lock all of the layers except for the legs. So now we can zoom back in. 